Hello again, it's Dr. Marty Schreiber. To close out our introductory video series on customized CAPD, I want to discuss patient dropout during the early stages of their PD treatment timeline. A patient's successful transition from CKD to ESRD depends on getting through their first 90 days after the start of dialysis. It is not as common as it should be in most training settings or immediate follow-up periods to assess a new patient's individual vulnerabilities, establish their learning priorities, or work to understand their biggest challenges to the extent necessary to best make sure that a majority of patients remain on therapy. To this end, we need to put a roadmap of steps in place which ensures a patient's success in achieving an optimal outcome on PD. What do we know about technique survival? Dr. Salim Majayas previously published his findings on PD in the US and noted that program size matters. An increased risk of technique failure occurred with fewer than 20 PD patients in a program or when a small percentage of patients in a program were on PD. Smaller programs need to be especially aware of this finding and put practices in place to closely monitor patients during the early phase after training. Getting to 90 days is critical for CAPD success. Technique failure is the highest during the first three months on peritoneal dialysis, and the major causes that contribute to technique failure include age, especially in older patients, patient type, patients that transfer from in-center hemodialysis, diabetes, infection, inadequate dialysis, and PD submodality. If we consider the first six months on PD, peritoneal catheter dysfunction and psychosocial problems are the main reasons for technique failure and warrant increased vigilance. Being aware of all these potential risk identifiers can make a difference in your program's success. With the increasing numbers of patients on CAPD due to the Baxter Cycler Solutions shortage, PD programs, physicians, medical directors, and care teams need to develop more proactive strategies to assist patients in successfully managing their health at home. What are some of the steps we can take to lower the technique failure rate at 90 days? Focusing on the following can potentially improve your program's 90-day patient retention rate. CAPD training should be a minimum of eight days. Weekly in-clinic visit for the first month, then bi-monthly. Two home visits, both within the first 90 days. Schedule some weekly interaction with patient. Focus on action steps to avoid peritonitis, as this is a key driver for 90-day dropout. This requires a more intense focus on aseptic technique, as well as hand washing. For employed patients, provide customized scheduling and retrain patients at 90 days, at least for one day in the home unit. While this may result in more work during the early phases of a patient's treatment, it should lead to decreased technique failure. In addition, the following steps can also help lower the infection risk during the first 30, 60, and 90 days on PD. Ensure prophylactic care of the catheter exit site with mepiracin or genomycin sulfate cream. Provide Cipro kits and Alcavis instructions to patients. Have the patient alert the unit when any physician starts an antibiotic because the patient may need antifungal prophylaxis. Make contamination protocols a key part of your policy and procedures. Be proactive about antibiotic prophylaxis for certain procedures such as dental, GYN, or GI. And identify risk labs the patient may have. These include hypokalemia, hypoalbuminemia, or hyperglycemia. And individualize assist devices as needed, whether it be with the Stay Safe or the Easy Aid. No matter the size of the unit or experience of the care team, Taking a long-term view of success is critical. Setting a plan and creating a center culture that truly focuses on the first 90 days 
is an essential component to enabling patients to achieve the quality of life all of us want. While many of the points reviewed today pertain to nursing and training, as physicians, we can leave no patient behind if we want to cross the 90-day finish line.